In today's video, I find out that the Vannon 6 amp hour battery actually holds 2.3 amp hours and the Aboran 7 amp hour Milwaukee battery only holds 2.1 amp hours, but they do have good BMSs and I'm gonna keep using them. But just know if you're gonna be buying these batteries, it's not a 6 amp hour, it's more akin to the 2 amp hour. So go about your pricing accordingly. And the same thing for the Milwaukee variant. It's really 2.1 instead of seven. So compare it against the price of a two, a two amp hour battery. Well, here's the video. And now that, uh, what I'll do is I'll lift it up and I'll put mortar in there. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna fill that with mortar, mortar that in place, and then solder that down. Well, I finally discharged the battery, putting that shelf up. So, time for a tear down. Well, I'm stuck in the middle of a project and this battery won't charge. Instead, it just flashes the green and red lights. That's odd. Vannon offered to send me some power tool batteries. So I said, okay, send me an M12 from, from Milwaukee and send me an, a Makita LXT 18 volt battery. I used this M12, it's the, the N12, they call it. So it's for the, it's for the Milwaukee. And uh, I use this on the side of the big building and that worked out pretty well. Only issue is the charger didn't seem to charge it. And I talked to them and it turns out the tabs probably are too far. And so we'll mess with that. And then with the, the, the Makita, but it's, I'm just going to call it the Nikita um, battery. It doesn't have a charge indicator, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I was able to use it to build a, a pair of steps and it worked pretty well, had plenty of power. The thing I should have done before I used it was open them up and see if they have balance leads. Now the M12 or the N12 for the Milwaukee, um, it, I totally forgot. The, these don't have to have a BMS circuit in them. So they're actually really hard to get wrong because the battery management circuit is in the charger. That's why the, the Milwaukee M12s have the power indicator in the tool. Now with this one, since it didn't have a, a power indicator on the front, I was kind of worried about it, but no, it has a, a complete BMS. So that makes me happy. So there, there's at the moment a big issue of if you buy a knockoff battery, 
you'll get one that has a fake BMS in it where it, it only has like two or three leads and it's actually a pretty big fire hazard. Well, seeing these wires makes me pretty confident that it is the right type. So this should be pretty good. There we go. Now I'm going to take these to the workshop. I'm going to charge them up and we're going to do a discharge test on them. And I'm going to return my friend's Torx driver that he um, lent me without him knowing. So I'll probably return it before he finds out that it's missing. Something I find interesting is even though Vannon sent me these, the N12 battery was by A. Boren, and this was laser cut on, laser etched on. But the cells themselves actually say Abron, which I imagine that's actually from that company. So that might be the parent company. And then Vannon. Now I actually tried removing the label. The label is the same shape, but there's nothing underneath it. So these ones have been branded to Vannon. So this is both a review of a Boren and Vannon batteries. Remember to open them up to check because here's an example of a fake BMS. Notice there's no microchip on the top. I forgot there was a microchip on the bottom, so I uh, added uh, on the top to that sentence. I forgot they had this. There's enough microchip just to, to talk to the, to the charger, but like with this one, there's a little more going on, it seems. And we will, we will be able to see, judging by like after use, I won't show that in this video because that'll take months. But I presume these are, since they're all hooked up, they, they should be balancing. Oh, and these, oh, these are Vannon cells. Look at that. Actual Vannon cells. What does that mean? It looks like there's almost like oil underneath the, the plastic coating. Not too bad. Okay, let's get these charged up. I have to take them to the workshop because I don't have a charger here. And then we'll bring them back and then we'll use the Hyperion to discharge and see how much capacity do these have. And that will be the indicator of if these are fake cells or not, but they feel like real cells. Although companies have gotten really good at making fake cells feel real. Okay, so the unofficial battery works with the official charger. Now let's try the unofficial battery on the unofficial charger. Oh, wow, this is tight. Okay. works now okay okay so now let's try the unofficial battery on the official charger okay well that's good that's why I like doing these reviews because I get I get tools that work I spent an hour messing with the, some microwave fun and this is charged and this is charged let's take these home open them up check the voltages just to see where they're at and then do a discharge test oh, that, that is tight now my question is does that knockoff charger also work with the official makita batteries or sorry, M Milwaukee batteries. Oh, there's too many tool brands. That's why I didn't add DeWalt to the mix. I can't remember if I tested it. Yeah, okay, I did. I came home and then I realized I was trying to get the screw off. I was like, wait a minute. Why did I grab that battery? Because it has the actual security bit screw. <laughs> it's the only thing that made me realize. I didn't realize when I grabbed it or when I was holding it, trying to use it with the Torx bit. So we're doing a discharge test on the 
Makita replacement battery. And that'll take several hours. Actually, probably a whole day. We're just heading to bed. It's uh, 11 o'clock at night. And I've had this running for about six hours, but I realized 0.27 of an amp. If this is six amp hours, that's gonna be 24 hours. Well, looking at this, it's down to 18 and a half volts and it's only done 1.8 amp hours. So will this really be full six amp hours? If it's only four amp hours, then this might be done sometime around breakfast tomorrow. I don't eat breakfast, but um, when we're having our drink in the morning. So that'll be interesting to see. So I see it must have actually ended late in the night and it only got 2.3 amp hours. Well, that's not good. And I just checked, each cell is down to 3.2 volts, and then this was 3.28 volts. So it's pretty consistent. And um, yeah. I had to kind of scratch my head a bit at how to connect to the Milwaukee M12 replacement battery. And what I settled upon is to get some solid core wire, and then I just use my hammer on a hard surface to flatten them into little connectors. Interesting, so this only charged to 4.042 volts per cell. Let me check the other ones. Yeah, so these ones didn't charge all the way. Interesting. Okay, so the cells are balanced, and that's just the voltage that the battery charger, the officially better, the official battery charger is charged to. I just got back home and I see that this has actually given 2100 milliamp hours. So, Oh, seven amp hours. I thought it was at 1.6 amp hours. <laughs> Whoops, that was a lie too. Funny, that's, that's pretty funny. Here I was thinking this was saying a 1.6 amp hour battery. Oh uh, well. Nope, they say it's seven, it's only two. I will continue to use these. I'm gonna put them back together and I'm gonna use them because this has a good BMS. This, these cells seem okay. Then we're gonna see how they do. I might make a video in a year or so. We can do more tests. But just know that you should evaluate these based upon like this is very much more akin to this two amp hour battery. So judge it based upon this is uh, the value of this. And then with this, judge it based upon the price comparison of that and the, uh, the default battery. That's what it was. I was remembering because the default Milwaukee batteries are like 1.6 amp hours. And I didn't realize it said uh, seven amp hours. So it's definitely not, it's two amp hours. I got them back together and I'm going to continue using them. I won't be using them on the highest power items that I have, but I will use them on the lower power stuff that I have. And uh, you know, the, the uh, uh, Milwaukee M12 tools, they aren't really high powered anyway, so this will be fine. And I had hoped that these were the rated capacity or a little bit closer. I'm probably going to actually take the AdSense money from this video, which will probably be about $3, and I will buy one of those silver paint markers, and I'm gonna put 2.1 amp hours on it, and then 2.3 amp hours on this one. Something that can write light text on black plastic. Well, that's pretty much it. They're usable, they're not scary like the ones that I've seen that have the fake BMSs on them. They're just fairly underpowered and only get these if you get a really good deal, but they probably do sell them for a pretty good deal, so it might actually work out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.